Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to part 41 of Introduction to C++ Programming. So we are on what is a class? Objects are, uh, what is a class? Objects are created using classes, which are actually the focal point of object-oriented programming. The class describes what the object will be, but is separate from the object itself. In other words, a class can be described as its blueprint, description, or definition. And you can use the same class as a blueprint for creating multiple different objects. Uh, for example, in preparation to create to uh, creating a new building, the architect creates a blueprint, which is used as a basis, a representation for actually building the structure. That same blueprint can be used to create multiple buildings. So programming works in the same fashion. We first define a class, which becomes the blueprint for creating an object. Each class has a name and, and describes attributes and behavior. And in programming, the term type is used to refer to a class name or creating an object of the particular type. Attributes are also referred to as properties or data. So in regard to classes, which statement is true? So a class has a name and describes attributes and behavior of an object. Cool. Method. Method is like a function. Uh, it's basically a function that belongs to a class. Methods are similar to functions. They are blocks of, codes, blocks of code that are called, and they can also perform actions and return values. So what is a method? A method is a function declared in a class. Cool. Uh, so for example, if we're creating a banking program, we can give our class the following characteristics. So the name of it's going to be bank account. It's attributes. You know what? You know what is it going to have on it? What is it going to need? And it's it's methods. What can it do for us? The class specifies that each object should have the defined attributes and behavior. So it's sort of like a contract that we're building, an interface that we're going to program against. However, it doesn't specify what the actual data is. It only provides a blueprint again, a definition. Once we've written the class, we can move on to create objects that are based on that class. Each object is called an instance of a class, and the process of creating objects is called instantiation. Each object has its own identity, data, and behavior. Awesome. So the, pro the process of creating objects is called what? Okay. It's actually called um, instantiation. Awesome. All right, guys. So that was it for uh, part 42. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.